joined by the head coach of the Mustangs, Coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, you uh, you seem not thrilled with the second quarter effort when you were going in at the half. Uh, were you more pleased with what you saw from your team in the second well, half? I think we really played well coming out of the locker room. I mean, you just can't pick and choose the times you want to play. And I saw in that second quarter, we're kind of picking and choosing our times. you got to play one way and uh, the way to play hard. And that's what we usually do. So, unfortunately, we just weren't meeting the standard I thought we should meet at that time. And so, uh, we can't let ourselves down. And we've got to play that urgency at this time in, in April So to do that. So, I think we responded well. You know, we played, we did a good job for the most part. We got the ball on offense and, you know, we faced off great. And, and I thought Mark played really good in the net and all that stuff. So, I thought we did a good job overall. I just got to got to do a little bit better job picking and choosing our moments. You know, when you talk about that, I think a lot of people would say, boy, you won this game by a lot. You know, what, what could you be frustrated about? But I, 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 we talked about on the broadcast, it's about what's ahead. You know, yeah. the, the most important part of your season is ahead. You're going to need 60-minute efforts every night. Yeah, and for me, it's never about the score. You know, it's about how we play. You know, the effort and all that stuff. You play hard and the effort. It's not. I never worry about the score. So it's the effort and how we play and stuff like that. So we had to do a better job. And I didn't think we were playing the way that I thought we should have been playing at that time. And there's always things you can nitpick when you do that. And, and that's what the films are for. And we'll talk about that. But overall, we are still playing very well as a team, doing a good shot. We're shooting the, the ball really, really well. And so I really like the, the direction we're heading. But, you know, we're, we obviously got to play better against Albright. And we got to have a great challenge next week with uh, two very good teams. Well, let's talk about that because this is the last time I'm going to see you before, you know, I don't want to dismiss Albright in any way. I know that's your next game. That's what you care about. But obviously York next week is going to be a very big one. Right, what right now to you is the biggest difference in what this team needs to do in order to be ready for that game? Well, I just think that we got to do a, a, a play tough. We got to clear the ball, and we got to make the moment of it. We got to we got to pick and choose our moments, but we got to make big plays when it matters the most. And I think that's how you beat York or any good team. Dickinson, you know, we had m chances to win that game, or Franklin and Marshall chances, or we can go to Gettysburg. You know, Salisbury had chances to do these things, and we just didn't make the plays we needed to do when we needed the most. Against any good team, you got to really make the plays when it matters the most, and pick and pick and choose your moments a little bit better. And I think we'll, we're starting to get there. I just like the way the team's playing, especially offensively, and the way we're facing off, and who we got in goal really helps us. You can win any game when you're playing that. That way. All right, let's talk about some of the moments in the second half. Uh, guys like Nick Kendall getting into the mix, yeah. uh, and the guy that we're about to talk to, Henry Jones, getting out there and making saves, firing everybody up. Um, what does that mean to you to see these guys get those type type of opportunities? Well, those guys always they practice hard too. You know, they go through all that stuff, so it's good times when they get in there. You know, we expect a lot out of them. We don't want a level of play to drop, but when they get in there, Nick getting two goals, his first two goals of his career. You know, Ethan Duncock got in there, got his first career faceoff win, his first career turnover. So that was great. You know, <laughs> got the two for one. There, but you know, a lot of guys are getting that, and thought Andrew Sowers got in there, and you know, uh, Brady Holleran got his first goal, and so that's great. But you know, we're bringing in um, Henry here, uh, who's been been a part of our team for a little while here, and it's kind of a special moment. He came to me the other uh, just earlier in the week, and um, you know, unfortunately, his mom passed early in COVID, uh, happened really quick, and during that time, and this is uh, the two year anniversary of that. And so, anytime we can help a kid like Henry, who works so hard, he does all the little things, and you know, uh, and he's always out there working hard. He's a great teammate, helping everybody and so he's what it really means to be a Stevenson man you know he does all the little things and yet he doesn't get any of the glory for it because he doesn't play as much but he cares about the guys they care about him and that's why they were so excited when he got in there so it's only appropriate enough to get him in there and him to make that first great save off his leg we love that and to get him in here if you get him a little bit of time to talk about his family and how much it means to him and his mom and all that kind of stuff that you know that's that's what it's really athletics is really all about to give people that kind of light to, to shine and and uh, I know his mom was you know in up in heaven to she couldn't be more happier now shining down on him, that's for sure. You're going to challenge me to not cry right now, Coach. <laughs> uh, congratulations. Appreciate you. Uh, go get him this week. We'll talk to you next Saturday, all right? I appreciate it. It's Coach Paul Cantabene.